Welcome to Stunning Memories. In this special edition, we're taking a nostalgic trip down memory lane as we revisit the iconic cast of the beloved classic Coming to America, released back in 1988. Join us as we explore the transformation of the cast then and now in 2024. From their breakout roles to their latest endeavors, we'll uncover how time has shaped these talented actors and actresses. So, get ready to reminisce and discover where the stars of Coming to America are today. First, we have Paul Bates, who portrayed the character Oha, a loyal and comedic sidekick to Eddie Murphy's Prince Akeem. At the time of portraying Oha, Bates was 30 years old, bringing humor and charm to the role alongside the ensemble cast. Paul Bates was born on December 24, 1958, in Cleveland, Ohio. As of 2024, he is 65 years old. While Bates has appeared in several films and television shows throughout his career, he is best known for his role as Oha in Coming to America. Some of his other notable works include appearances in Eight Mile, How High, and The Last Dragon. Regarding his personal life, Bates maintains a relatively private profile and details about his marital status, children and siblings are not widely known. Despite this, his contributions to the entertainment industry have been recognized and appreciated by audiences worldwide. Next, we have Eddie Murphy, who portrayed the charming and adventurous character Prince Akeem. At the time of portraying Prince Akeem, Murphy was 27 years old, captivating audiences with his comedic brilliance and magnetic presence on screen. Eddie Murphy was born on April 3, 1961, in Brooklyn, New York. As of 2024, he is 62 years old. Murphy's illustrious career spans decades, during which he has become one of the most iconic actors and comedians in Hollywood history. Some of his most popular movies include Beverly Hills Cop, Trading Places, and the Nutty Professor. In terms of his personal life, Murphy has been romantically involved with model Paige Butcher since 2012, and the couple shares two children together. He has a total of ten children from various relationships. Murphy's siblings include his brother Charlie Murphy, who was also a well-known comedian and actor. Despite his massive success, Murphy remains relatively private about his personal affairs, preferring to let his work speak for itself. Nevertheless, his impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable, and his legacy continues to inspire generations of performers. Next, we have Garcelle Beauvais, who portrayed the character Rosebearer, a minor yet memorable role in the movie. At the time of portraying Rosebearer, Beauvais was 22 years old, adding her charm and elegance to the ensemble cast. Garcelle Beauvais was born on November 26, 1966, in Saint-Marc, Haiti. As of 2024, she is 57 years old. Beauvais has had a successful career in both film and television, with notable roles in movies like Wild Wild West and White House Down, as well as television shows such as The Jamie Foxx Show and NYPD Blue. Regarding her personal life, Beauvais has been married twice, first to producer Daniel Saunders, and then to talent agent Mike Nylon, with whom she shares two children. She also has a son from a previous relationship. Beauvais's siblings include her sister, Marie-Claire Beauvais, who has also worked as an actress and producer. Despite her busy career and personal life, Beauvais continues to shine as an actress, model, and advocate, inspiring others with her talent and dedication to her craft. Next, we have James Earl Jones, who portrayed the dignified and regal character King Jaffe Joffer. As the father of Prince Akeem, King Jaffe Joffer exudes authority and wisdom throughout the movie. At the time of portraying King Jaffe Joffer, Jones was 57 years old, bringing his commanding presence and powerful voice to the role. James Earl Jones was born on January 17, 1931, in Arkabootla, Mississippi. As of 2024, he is 93 years old. Jones is a highly respected actor with a prolific career spanning decades. 
Some of his most popular movies include A Star Wars, where he voiced the iconic character Darth Vader, and The Leon King, where he provided the voice for Mufasa. In terms of his personal life, Jones has been married twice, first to actress Julian Marie, with whom he shares a son, and then to actress Cecilia Hart, with whom he shares a son and a daughter. Jones's siblings include his brother Matthew Earl Jones, who is also an actor. Despite his advanced age, Jones continues to work in the entertainment industry, showcasing his talent and versatility in various roles. He remains an iconic figure in Hollywood, beloved by audiences worldwide for his contributions to film, television, and theater. Let's continue with Madge Sinclair, who portrayed the dignified and compassionate character Queen Aeolian, wife of King Jaffe Joffer and mother of Prince Akeem. As Queen Aeolian, Sinclair exuded grace and warmth, serving as a guiding force for her family. At the time of portraying Queen Aeolian, Sinclair was 50 years old, bringing her talent and presence to the role. Madge Sinclair was born on April 28, 1938, in Kingston, Jamaica. She had a remarkable career in film and television, appearing in numerous acclaimed projects, some of her most notable movies include Roots and The Lion King, where she voiced the character of Sarabi. In terms of her personal life, Sinclair was married to actor and musician Dean Compton, with whom she had two sons. However, details about her children's names and her family life are relatively scarce. Tragically, Madge Sinclair passed away on December 20th, 1995, at the age of 57. Her legacy as a talented actress and a beloved figure in the entertainment industry continues to live on through her memorable performances and the impact she made on audiences worldwide. Next, we have Vanessa Bell Calloway, who portrayed the character Imani Izzy, a beautiful but clumsy young woman who is chosen as a potential bride for Prince Akeem. At the time of portraying Imani Izzy, Calloway was 31 years old bringing her charm and comedic talent to the role. Vanessa Bell Calloway was born on March 20, 1957 in Toledo, Ohio. As of 2024, she is 67 years old. Calloway has had a successful career in both film and television, appearing in a wide range of projects. Some of her notable movies include What's Love Got to Do With It, Coming to America, and Harlem Nights. In terms of her personal life, Calloway has been married to anesthesiologist Dr. Anthony Calloway since 1988, and the couple has two daughters together. She is also involved in various philanthropic endeavors, supporting causes related to health, education, and the arts. Calloway's siblings include her sisters Marva and Loretta, both of whom have also pursued careers in entertainment. Throughout her career, Calloway has garnered acclaim for her talent and versatility and she continues to be a respected figure in the industry. Next, we have Jake Steinfeld, who played the role of the cab driver, a minor character who interacts briefly with Prince Akeem, offering comedic relief during the film. At the time of portraying the cab driver, Steinfeld was 30 years old, bringing his energy and humor to the role. Jake Steinfeld was born on February 21, 1958, in Brooklyn, New York, as of 2024, he is 66 years old. Steinfeld is best known for his career as a fitness entrepreneur and motivational speaker. He founded Body by Jake, a fitness brand that gained popularity in the 1980s and 1990s, and he has since become a prominent figure in the fitness industry. In terms of his personal life, Steinfeld has been married to his wife, Tracy, since 1990, and the couple has two children together. He is also involved in various philanthropic efforts, particularly those aimed at promoting health and fitness education for children. While Steinfeld's acting career may not be as extensive as his work in the fitness industry, his memorable appearance in Coming to America remains a notable part of his professional portfolio. He continues to inspire and motivate others through his fitness expertise and his positive attitude towards life. Next T, we have Cuba Gooding Jr., who played the role of the boy getting haircut, a minor character who appears briefly in a comedic scene. At the time of portraying this character, 
Gooding Jr. was 20 years old, showcasing his early talent and versatility on screen. Cuba Gooding Jr. was born on January 2, 1968, in the Bronx, New York City. As of 2024, he is 56 years old. Gooding Jr. has had a successful career in film, earning acclaim for his performances in various roles. Some of his most popular movies include Jerry Maguire, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, Men of Honor, and A Few Good Men. In terms of his personal life, Gooding Jr. has been married twice. He was previously married to Sarah Kapfer, with whom he has three children. However, the couple divorced in 2017. Gooding Jr. also has a daughter from another relationship. He has siblings, including his brother, actor Omar Gooding, and his sister, actress April Gooding. While his appearance as the boy getting haircut in Coming to America may have been brief, Gooding Jr.'s subsequent success in the entertainment industry has solidified his status as a talented actor with a diverse range of roles. Next, we have Frankie Faison, who portrayed the character Landlord, a minor role where he interacts with Prince Akeem and Semi as they search for an apartment in New York City. At the time of portraying the Landlord, Faison was 39 years old, bringing his talent and presence to the screen. Frankie Faison was born on June 10, 1949, in Newport News, Virginia. As of 2024, he is 74 years old. Faison has had a prolific career in film and television, appearing in numerous projects across various genres. Some of his most notable movies include The Silence of the Lambs, Do the Right Thing, and Hannibal. In terms of his personal life, Faison keeps a relatively low profile, and details about his family and personal relationships are not widely publicized. He is known for his dedication to his craft and his versatility as an actor, earning respect and admiration from both peers and audiences alike. While his role as the landlord in Coming to America may have been relatively minor, Faison's contributions to the entertainment industry have been significant, and he continues to be a respected figure in film and television. Next, we have John Amos, who portrayed the character Cleo McDowell, the owner of the fictional fast food restaurant McDowell's, where Prince Akeem and Semi find employment. Cleo McDowell is a hardworking and entrepreneurial man who takes pride in his business. At the time of portraying Cleo McDowell, Amos was 49 years old, bringing his talent and charisma to the role. John Amos was born on December 27, 1939, in Newark, New Jersey. As of 2024, he is 84 years old. Amos has had a distinguished career in film and television, with notable roles in projects such as Roots, Good Times, and The West Wing. In terms of his personal life, Amos has been married twice. He has two children from his first marriage and two children from his second marriage. His siblings include his brother, actor and musician Jack Amos. Throughout his career, Amos has been recognized for his versatility as an actor and his contributions to the entertainment industry. Despite his age, he continues to be active in his profession, showcasing his talent and leaving a lasting impact on audiences worldwide. Next, we have Allison Dean, who portrayed the character Patrice McDowell, the daughter of Cleo McDowell, the owner of McDowell's Restaurant. Patrice is a supportive and caring member of the McDowell family, often seen interacting with her father and other characters in the film. At the time of portraying Patrice McDowell, Dean was 18 years old, bringing her youthful energy and charm to the role. Allison Dean was born on July 12, 1969, in New York City. As of 2024, she is 54 years old. Dean has appeared in various films and television shows throughout her career, with notable roles in projects such as The Perfect Score and Mr. 3000 Door. In terms of her personal life, Dean keeps a relatively low profile and details about her family and personal relationships are not widely known. She is known for her talent as an actress and her ability to bring depth to her characters on screen. While her role as Patrice McDowell in Coming to America may have been relatively minor, 
Dean's contributions to the entertainment industry have been significant, and she continues to be a respected figure in film and television. Next, we have Sherry Headley, who portrayed the character Lisa McDowell, the daughter of Cleo McDowell and love interest of Prince Akeem. Lisa is depicted as a strong and independent woman who eventually falls in love with Prince Akeem despite initial challenges. At the time of portraying Lisa McDowell, Headley was 24 years old, bringing her grace and elegance to the role. Sherry Headley was born on July 15, 1964, in Queens, New York City. As of 2024, she is 59 years old. Headley has had a notable career in film and television, with memorable roles in projects such as The Preacher's Wife and Johnson Family Vacation. In terms of her personal life, Headley has been married twice. She has one son from her first marriage and one son from her second marriage. While she keeps details about her personal life relatively private, Headley is known for her dedication to her craft and her ability to bring authenticity to her roles on screen. Despite her role as Lisa McDowell being one of her most iconic, Headley's talent and versatility as an actress have earned her respect and admiration from audiences and peers alike throughout her career. Next, we have Eric LaSalle, who portrayed the character Daryl Jenks, the arrogant and wealthy boyfriend of Lisa McDowell. Daryl serves as a foil to Prince Akeem, highlighting the differences in their characters and values. At the time of portraying Daryl Jenks, LaSalle was 26 years old, bringing his charisma and intensity to the role. Eric LaSalle was born on July 23, 1962 in Hartford, Connecticut. As of 2024, he is 61 years old. LaSalle has had a successful career in film and television, with notable roles in projects such as the medical drama series ER, where he played Dr. Peter Benton, and the film One Hour Photo. In terms of his personal life, LaSalle keeps a relatively low profile, and details about his family and personal relationships are not widely known. He is known for his dedication to his craft and his ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance. While his role as Daryl Jenks may have been one of his early performances, LaSalle's talent and versatility as an actor have earned him respect and recognition throughout his career in the entertainment industry. Let's continue with Louis Anderson, who portrayed the character Maurice, a kind-hearted employee at McDowell's restaurant who provides comic relief throughout the film. Maurice is depicted as a lovable and jovial character who adds warmth to the restaurant's atmosphere. At the time of portraying Maurice, Anderson was 35 years old, bringing his comedic talent and charm to the role. Louis Anderson was born on March 24, 1953 in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He passed away on January 21, 2022, at the age of 88. Anderson had a successful career as a stand-up comedian, actor, and television host. He is best known for his Emmy Award-winning role in the comedy series Baskets and his work as a host on the game show Family Feud. In terms of his personal life, Anderson was relatively private, and details about his family and personal relationships are not widely known. He was known for his humor and relatable storytelling, which resonated with audiences around the world. Despite his passing, Anderson's legacy as a beloved comedian and actor lives on through his memorable performances and the impact he made on the entertainment industry. Next, we have Vondi Curtis Hald, who portrayed the character of the basketball game vendor, a minor role providing a comedic moment during the basketball game scene. At the time of portraying this character, Curtis Hall was 38 years old, bringing his talent and energy to the screen. Vondi Curtis Hall was born on September 30, 1956, in Detroit, Michigan. As of 2024, he is 73 years old. Curtis Hall has had a successful career as an actor, director, and screenwriter, with notable roles in projects such as Die Hard 2 and Chicago Hope. He is also known for his work behind the camera, directing films like Gridlocked and episodes of television series like The Shield and The Wire. In terms of his personal life, Curtis Hall keeps a relatively low profile, and details about his family and personal relationships are not widely known. 
He is known for his versatility as an actor and his ability to bring depth to his characters on screen. While his role as the basketball game vendor may have been relatively minor, Curtis Hall's contributions to the entertainment industry have been significant, and he continues to be a respected figure in film and television. Next, we have Samuel L. Jackson, who portrayed the character of the Hold-Up Man, a criminal who attempts to rob McDowell's restaurant. The Hold-Up Man's appearance is brief but intense, serving as a moment of tension in the film. At the time of portraying this character, Jackson was 40 years old, showcasing his versatility as an actor even in minor roles. Samuel L. Jackson was born on December 21, 1948, in Washington, D.C. As of 2024, he is 75 years old. Jackson has had an illustrious career in film, earning critical acclaim and widespread recognition for his performances in a wide range of roles. Some of his most popular movies include Pulp Fiction, Jurassic Park, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe films, where he portrays the character Nick Fury. In terms of his personal life, Jackson has been married to actress and producer LaTanya Richardson since 1980, and the couple has one daughter together. He is known for his philanthropy work and his advocacy for various causes, including civil rights and education. Despite his role as the hold-up man being relatively minor, Jackson's talent and presence on screen have made him one of the most respected and recognizable actors in Hollywood. Finally, we have Arsenio Hall, who portrayed the character Semi, the loyal and mischievous friend and aide to Prince Akeem, played by Eddie Murphy. Semi accompanies Akeem on his journey to America, where they embark on a quest to find love and adventure. At the time of portraying Semi, Hall was 32 years old, showcasing his comedic talent and chemistry with Murphy on screen. Arsenio Hall was born on February 12, 1956, in Cleveland, Ohio. As of 2024, he is 68 years old. Hall has had a successful career as a comedian, actor, and talk show host, with notable roles in projects such as Harlem Nights, Coming Seconds America, and the Arsenio Hall Show. In terms of his personal life, Hall keeps a relatively low profile, and details about his family and personal relationships are not widely known. He is known for his wit and charm, which have endeared him to audiences throughout his career, while his role as Semi in Coming to America remains one of his most iconic Hall's talent and versatility as an entertainer have earned him respect and admiration from fans around the world. As we conclude our journey through the lives of the cast of the 1988 classic, Coming to America, we hope you've enjoyed revisiting the memorable characters and discovering where their paths have taken them since. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Stunning Memories for more nostalgic compilations and exclusive content. Join us as we continue to celebrate the enduring legacy of iconic films and the talented individuals who bring them to life. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.